Hola, cultists. How are you? I hope it's not too loud in here. Um, I was uh, very smart and I uh, had lunch at a Mexican place on Cinco de Mayo. And uh, on that day, I promised to uh, deliver a valuable video for you. Um, as stated in the headline and body text, we are uh, going to talk about a question that you can ask clients when you are uh, going through the interview or uh, consultation or onboarding process that will convince them that you're the one for the job. Um, first, the reason that asking this question works uh, is because it overcomes uh, very specific objections that potential clients have when it comes to uh, deciding who is going to do a certain job and, and whether they're worth hiring and whether this person cares and has insight into their business or is just selling them a bill of goods. Because an important thing to remember about your clients, in many, many cases, they're not as experienced in marketing uh, services as you are despite the fact that they're in business. Um, most businesses are too busy delivering on the services that they sell to new clients. Uh, and they're too busy doing that uh, to make the time to market effectively. Uh, or even think about marketing or learn about marketing if it's not something they knew before they got into the business they're in. Uh, the, the, the objections that they have are frequently, uh, they, they feel like there are people out there who are going to take advantage of them. Uh, a lot of times this has actually been played out. Uh, in real time because there are many um, businesses and then on top of that uh, marketing B2B teachers and gurus who teach people who don't know what they're doing to try and pitch services to small businesses saying you need this, you need a, a page, you need a social media account, you need paid ads and they take money from these businesses and don't deliver results. Um, so a lot of times they're wary, their guard is up it's worked a little bit. It's not working as good as it could. Here is, is the way to dispel it entirely. What we want to do is be able to show them very quickly as a demonstration that we care, we know what they need, we understand their issues, and we're listening. So the question that you ask is very simply, uh, uh, let me let me give you the context of where you need to ask this question. Uh, this is after they've told you what they need. Uh, you you either pitched the service to them or they've responded to a service that uh, you pitched, and you're having a conversation about it. Once they tell you what the situation is and what they feel like they need, the thing that you ask is, "What have you tried before now, and why didn't it work?" You can pause in between the two. Uh, you can ask it as two separate questions. It's very simple, but it's deceptively simple because when you ask, what is it that you've tried before now and why didn't it work? What it shows is that uh, you do not simply have uh, a, a schedule of services or processes that you're trying to sell them. You're not offering a one size fits all. You're not giving them cookie cutter, mad libs, bullshit. You're actually asking, okay, well, before I tell you what it is we're gonna do, and before I formulate a plan, I wanna know what it is that you've already done and why you think it didn't work. Uh, what this does that most other people trying to pitch them services uh, aren't doing is it demonstrates that you have a concern for specifically what's going on in their business what they've tried, what hasn't worked and why, and it shows that you're, you're putting something together custom for them. It shows that you are listening to their concerns, you're addressing why things that other people may have done haven't worked. Uh, you're not pointing the finger, you're just getting their assessment of it. Based on what they say in response to that question, you can tailor your response uh, based on your level of experience or familiarity. So let's say 
the answer they give you is they've tried a couple of things that you know don't work and you know why they don't work. So you take a moment to explain that and you use that to frame what you're offering and why it's better. Let's say what they say they've tried didn't work and you don't necessarily know why what they did didn't work. You can ask follow-up questions and it becomes a diagnosis instead of just a pitch call or them interviewing you for a service. Instead, it puts you in the control seat and tells, it, it, it tells them that you know what you're doing and you're taking over and you're asking the important questions that are needed to make it work. Because previously, if someone sold them a cookie cutter solution that did not work, they, they, uh, what they're looking for is someone to actually listen and modify whatever that cookie cutter solution was uh, to get them the actual result that they want. So again, in summary, I apologize if I seem distracted, it's very loud in here. Um, the question to ask is, what have you tried before and why didn't it work for you? Uh, you ask it at the point that they explain what their issue is, what the result is that they would like. And the reason you ask that question is because it contextualizes you as a person who cares, a person who's interested in their business and who's offering a customized solution that weighs in things that they've tried that have failed. Uh, it shows that unlike other providers who are maybe pitching them services that are predetermined, where you're just trying to sell a specific process to as many people as you can, it shows that you're separate from that. Very simple question, very easy to work into any part of the interview process, and it does do a thing that I made a post about recently where it flips the interview process around so it's almost like you're interviewing them to see why you should do the work for them instead of them doing you a favor of hiring you. Um, that's it for now. I can barely hear myself talking in here. Uh, I hope that's useful to you, and uh, happy Cinco de Mayo. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I appreciate you helping me rip off the band-aid and get back into doing live videos for you. Thanks. Adios.